Lightroom Wizards. Okay, in uh, this episode of Lightroom Wizards, we are going to look at how you go about giving your, your image a bit of a style or a mood using several different tools, but primarily uh, using split toning. Uh, we'll look at split toning, we'll look at um, using the luminance slider, we'll use a little bit of um, vignetting, and I think we'll probably t use a bit of a brush here too, but we're going to do this all very quickly, and we're going to focus on the split toning tool. So I have this image here of uh, one of my favorite pe people to work with, the actor Tiffany Hayalik. Uh, this was photographed in Yellowknife, and I like this image right out of camera. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool, but I want to give it a bit more of a mood, a little bit more mysterious kind of air to it. And as with any image that I have, um, I just look at it and think what needs to be done. For this one, I want to create more of a darker feel, um, more of a tunnel effect. I already have her framed down this pathway. So I'm going to start with just giving her a bit of a vignette, um, just to kind of bring the darkness in on the edges. I find strong vignettes, a little bit too, I don't know, 1980s, same with the white vignette, but I'm just going to go a little bit here, make that a bit darker so your attention is kind of focused in on her. Okay, so first step. Now, second step and thing I really want to talk about today is the split toning. Um, split toning is very cool. So basically what this tool allows you to do is to allow you to change the hues of your highlights or your shadows to give them specific a specific color. So for example here um, in the shadows and there's two ways you can do it. You can either just kind of go in here and adjust the hue slider and the saturation slider get it where you want it or you can click right here. I prefer this box. It kind of gives you the full color palette um, or palette I should say and in here I can kind of choose what I want. Now I'm just going to kind of randomly click on a few different colors here and feel out what kind of toning I want. I I think I like the bluish. I mean, to me, that right around there looks actually fairly natural. I mean, it all depends on what you like, but somewhere around there, I think looks kind of cool. Like it just takes away that warm tone, gives it a nice cool feel without looking fake. And so from here too, now the way this works too, is the higher you go upwards, the more saturation it has. The farther you go downwards, the lower saturation it goes. So, I mean, you can basically crank that saturation up or keep it somewhere in between. Um, for this one right here, I'm probably going to stick to, I don't know, about right about there. And it's just, again, whatever you like. So with that, let me just do a quick before and after on that. I'm going to hit the backslash key on my MacBook here. Uh, before, after. So that's with the vignette. That's with the color tone or the split toning. And you notice I've just basically influenced the shadow tones here. So all this darker area, I didn't really impact her skin or her dress at all, which is kind of nice. I mean, if I zoom in really close here, you probably notice a little bit of blue tone in her hair, um, but not too, not too bad. On kind of the opposite side, if I wanted to impact just the highlights, the whites here, I could do that as well. Now, it being a wedding dress, it being white, I don't think I want to do that. But just to show you, if I wanted to go in here, it's going to influence mainly the highlights. So right here, see where it's kind of just touching kind of that area in the middle. Let me just see if I can zoom in a little better on her dress here. And kind of drag this over so you can see this. Um, it's basically influencing just that area in the middle, but not the area on the edges. Because it's just hitting the highlights. Um, I think I like this just as white, just the way it was. So I'm just going to kind of put, put this back down to normal, zero saturation. So if we have this, again, before and after, um, I really like that. But the only other things I would do to this image is I might pull out and want to make her skin tone just jump a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into this HSL colored black and white area. I'm going to hop to luminance, and luminance allows you to adjust the brightness of a specific color. So you can make a specific color brighter or darker. So if I just go into the orange tones here, you notice where I can kind of increase that her skin area, a little bit of the background as well, but just make her pop a bit more against that background. I mean, very simple, but I'm just gonna do that. Um, and again, just do my before and after. So in really just seconds, I've created a totally different look and feel to this image. Again, primarily using 
split toning, but also a little bit of vignetting and a little bit of uh, color luminance adjustment. Uh, over and out, this is Dave with Lightroom Wizards. Hope you enjoyed this.